Hello children. Welcome to our radio learning program for science. This is a continuation of our radio program produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda. My name is Teacher Gerald and I will be teaching Primary 5 Science. This is a program organized so that we can make sure that our children keep on learning, especially during this difficult time of coronavirus disease break. I am so happy to be with you, the parents. I'm so happy with your support ever. You have kept the children safe at home and you are here with them in the lessons. That is so good. We need your closeness such that you support them in whatever they are doing during this radio program lessons. Children, I would like you to get your pen and notebook for taking notes, doing exercises, and homework. Then sit next to the radio, tune it to be loud enough and be ready to listen to it keenly. That is good. Now, children, let us stand up to have a warm-up song. Let us stand up to have a warm-up song. I am going to sing the song two times. Then, when it is your turn, you now join me. And then we sing for the third time. Do you understand? Perfect. The song goes. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engines, fetch the engines. Fire, 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 fire. Pour water, pour water. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engines, fetch the engines. Fire, 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 fire. Burn water, burn water. Children, it is your turn to join me. Let us sing. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engines, fetch the engines. Fire, 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 fire. Burn water, burn water. Good. Hey, some want us to repeat it once again. Good. Let's go. London's burning, London's burning. Fetch the engines, fetch the engines. Fire, 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 fire. Burn water, burn water. Great. Now, parents, make sure that our children are safe during this period of coronavirus and always. Now welcome back children. Can you write down what we learned about in our last lesson? Can you write down what we learned about in our last lesson? Ten seconds for that. Wonderful, wonderful. Some of the uses of water. These are what we learned about. We learned about uses of water. And some of the uses of water that we saw were we use water as human food. We use water as human food. We use water 
in sanitation. We use water in sanitation. And we use water in farming. We use water in farming. These are only three uses of water out of the many that we mentioned and learned about in our last lesson. We learned about so many uses, but we have only talked of three. We have only talked of three from the last lesson. Great, children. Our lesson today is sources of water and properties of water. Do you get that? Good. Write it down on your book and underline it. Write it down in the book and underline it well. I repeat, sources of water and properties of water. Sources of water and properties of water. Parents, may you move closer to the child to see if they have written the right thing. Can you move closer to the children to see if they are doing the right thing? Great. I will repeat the topic for today. Sources of water and properties of water. Good. Children, sources means where water comes from. And properties means how water looks like. Hmm? I repeat, sources means where water comes from. And properties means how water looks like. Do you understand? Perfect. A place where we get water from is called a source of water. A place where we get water from is called a source of water. Now, in your notebooks, can you think and write some sources of water that you know? Can you think and write some sources of water that you know? Ten seconds for that. Very, very good. I like that. Uh -huh. Water comes from lakes, rivers, wells, springs, dams, taps, boreholes, and from the rain, I repeat, sources of water are lakes, rivers, wells, springs, dams, taps, boreholes, and from the rain, I hope you have written that one very clearly. Can you clap for yourselves? <laughs> Perfect. Again, children, from the list that we have above, can you group the sources into natural sources and man-made sources? You see, we have a long list of the sources of water. Can you think and group them according to natural sources and man-made sources? Excellent, excellent. I like that and I like the way you work. 
That is very good. You are good children. Now, the natural sources of water include oceans, lakes, rivers, springs, and rainwater. Very nice. Number two, man-made sources include wells, dams, taps, and boreholes. You see, why are they called man-made? They are called man-made because man, human beings like me and you, we work together to come up with these things. For example, we will sit and then decide to dig a well. We keep on digging, we keep on digging, we keep on digging. And then we reach a point where water starts coming out. We call that one man-made. Because if we did not dig the well, we could not get the water. Again, we can build dams. Dams we dig across a river valley. And then we trap the water that comes from the rain. We also have tap water. After getting water from the wells or the dams, we put them through the taps. Then we get them from the taps. Then the boreholes also, the same. That is why we call them man-made sources of water. Do you understand? Correct. Good children. Welcome back, dear children. Now, let us see the properties of water. Properties are also called characteristics. We will only see the properties of clean water. I don't want to talk about dirty water or unclean water. We are only going to talk about clean water. Good. Properties or characteristics of clean water include clean water is colorless. It does not have color. Say colorless. Good. Write colorless. C-O-L-O-U-R-L-E-S-S. Colorless. Good. Pure water is odorless. Odorless. That means it has no smell. Odorless. I spell. O D O U R L E double S. Odorless. Wonderful. Even if you smell water, my friends, you will not hear, you will not feel the smell of pure water. Water is tasteless. <laughs> my friend, water is tasteless. We don't have the taste of pure water. It is not salty. It is not sugary. It does not taste like uh, an orange. Pure water does not have taste. It is tasteless. Pure water is a good solvent. Say solvent. Great. S O L V E N T. Solvent. Pure water is a good solvent. What does that one mean? A good solvent means it can dissolve some of the particles that we can put in it. 
when we have pure water and we put salt in it, the particles of salt will dissolve and we will no longer see the particles. We say the salt particles have dissolved in pure water. Also, we can put some spoon, a, a spoon of sugar, a spoon of sugar in pure water. Then we stir. After stirring, we will not see the particles of sugar again. We say the sugar particles have been dissolved in pure water. Very good. Pure water has a freezing or melting point of zero degrees Celsius. What does that one mean? Freezing and melting point. How many people have seen hailstones? When the rain is raining, when it is raining and there is a lot of stones falling, yes, those are hailstones. The hailstones are water. That is water which has condensed and it is now as hard as a stone. For water to reach that point, it must be cool at zero degrees Celsius and below. And if it was cool below zero degrees Celsius, when we warm it up and it reaches that zero degrees Celsius, it will start melting to become liquid water again. That is the reason why we say it has a freezing or melting point of zero degrees Celsius. Point number six, pure water has a boiling point of a hundred degrees Celsius. For water to boil, we must do it for a hundred degrees Celsius. Great, my friends. Pure water is water that does not contain contaminants such as mud and dissolved salts. Pure water is obtained by distillation. We can get pure water through distillation. Children, this is what you will do afterwards. You will take drinking water in a clean and clear glass, then check on the following. You will write down the color that you will see from that water. You will write down the color that you will see from that water. Number two, you will smell the water and then you will tell how it smells. You write it down. Again, because it is drinking water, you will have to drink it. Drink the water and write down how it tastes. You will bring the result of your activity in our next lesson. Do you understand? Perfect. That one marks the end of our science lesson for P5 today. Children, until we meet again in our next radio lesson, bye bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.